Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up and use the Nordic ArcVis collection. The Nordic ArcVis collection works with Blender's built-in asset library. And to set it up, you're gonna go into Edit, Preferences, and then navigate down to File Paths. And down here at the bottom, you'll find this Asset Libraries section. Open that up and pr press the plus icon. I already have it here. But I'm going to show you how to set it up. So what you do is you're going to click the plus icon and navigate to where you've stored the blend file that you've downloaded. And then you just click add asset library. And then you can name it whatever. Uh, I named it of course Nordic Archivist Collection so that I know that I should be using it. And then uh, down here import method uh, we're going to be changing this up on the fly, but I would recommend using the append feed reuse data as the standard method. And uh, uncheck relative path. Save your preferences. Auto save is on because I always have it on. And we're good. In this file, I've built up a, a little room and added some lights and a camera. And this is what we have right now. So let's actually split this view and get those out of the way and like so. I like to use the timeline for the asset library and to open the asset library you just click here and go over here to the right and there you have asset browser. Um, quick tip if you click this button and immediately type a you will open up this library quickly uh, and uh, when you open it it will open all of your asset libraries at once uh, including blenders built in and other asset libraries that you have uh, but we want to go to the nordic archivist collection the one we just made and there we have all the assets in the collection a uh, quick note, this is a pre-release version, so some assets may be different and icons will be different and uh, uh, you may see some assets that are not yet available in the collection, but uh, most likely they will be soon. In here are some pre-made uh, categories. We have the materials and the models separately, so it's easier to find them. So we're going to start with some materials. As you can see, we have no materials on this uh, room here, uh, and we're going to add three slots right now. And one's going to be the walls, uh, second one's going to be the floors, and then we're going to have the baseboards. Let's start with the baseboard, actually. Select all the baseboards, clicking L, yes, and we're going to put it to second second material slot assign. Then we're going to click on the floor, shift G, and choose coplanar, and that's going to choose all of the floor here quickly for us. Click the third uh, material slot and click assign. Now we can just drag and drop materials here. So I'll just put a random material quickly, like the flooring, like that, onto the flooring, and then it's there. This doesn't have any UVs, so let's just real quick do that. And uh, just get up. As you can see now, there's some floor materials there. Put something on the wall, we can just get uh, a plaster material and black plaster like that. And we have a black wall. General surface is painted cabinet material. I missed. It's quite um, exact where you put it. So have your mouse over there. So then it puts it on the baseboard like that. But yeah, so now we have quickly made put some materials here and I'm actually gonna put uh, polished concrete one on the floor, uh, plaster one on the walls and the baseboards are painted cabinet material two, like so. 
Then we go into models and uh, I'm gonna pick some furniture, some uh, dining tables and dining table number two. There we go. Uh, put it into position about, hmm, I don't know, here, maybe, like so. And uh, then we're gonna add some, a chair and just rotate that and put it in like so and then all D you can copy it to reuse the data uh, to keep, make a link to duplicate of it I mean and let's put it like so um, then we're gonna need some lighting. Um, when using lights, if if you want to change something, uh, you're gonna need to do a little um, change in the settings. It, if I put it in like this, I'll get this light. Um, but um, I can't see materials, I can't change the actual light bulb, uh, it's completely locked as this. So if this is perfect for you with the light on and the materials as they are, then you can use it like that. But if you want to change anything, you want to go and click here on the follow preferences and change it to the link. This allows you now to place a, an object here and then in the outliner uh, go right click and library override make selected and content it will vanish apparently but it actually went into the origin over here now you can actually select the individual elements of the lamp and therefore also change the materials um, you will notice that it's locked. You can't move it even if you press G. Uh, so what you want to do is go here into the object properties and just having the body selected, and click this library override like so. So now you can move it. Perfect. So we're going to put just a, it up like that. And we're going to actually uh, duplicate that. Uh, entire collection so that we get a second one that we can move over here now I don't want them to be on the same height uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually just move this down like this i'm not going to be seeing the actual ceiling so it can just be in the air like this um i'm gonna add some uh, decor still um to this scene uh, we're gonna add a vase like so and actually put it somewhat in the center and these have a, a caustic material so that you can actually add some cool caustics to the scene but to make that work the surface underneath need to be, needs to be enabled for caustics uh, and that you do under uh, object properties and in the shading yes shading receive shadow caustics on and uh, is that working already or have I forgotten something? Oh, it's working a bit. Um, and now the material here, you can actually tweak it. Uh, uh, if it's not looking like this for you right now, uh, it's because the light in the scene uh, need to also have that enabled. So in the light properties here, uh, shadow caustics enabled and the materials on every model uh, is an, 
available in the material section. But if you want to change the decorative glass to a different color that I pre-made, uh, you can just drag and drop it. Uh, but all the shaders are made to be simple, uh, simple usable shaders like this. So I can just go ahead and change the color to anything I want. Uh, and the same is true, true for most materials. This one is uh, actually not finished yet. So uh, the plaster here, uh, you can just change it. Oh, I want some blue walls and then you have blue walls. And there are some, some shaders have more adjustments and some have less. Anyway, uh, I'm feeling it's a bit empty. So I'm gonna add a, a couch here put it right there I think yeah and change some materials uh, so we're gonna add put some natural white fabric yes then the pillow can be beige maybe maybe I want some a drop of color in there like that and then we just hit render and there we have our scene. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you haven't yet bought the Nordic Arcface collection, I hope this helped you make your decision and consider the Arcface collection for your lender Arcface needs. Uh, it will be updated in the future with more models and more, more materials. But until next, next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.